Hi, my name is Eddie Fernandez, pastor of Riverside International Church in Qashqais. Do you drive a car or a motorcycle? Are you insured? What should you do in case you have an accident on Portuguese roads? You probably answered yes to the first two questions and a resounding no to the third. We are here to help you sift through what can be a very complicated process by giving you the valuable procedures to follow so that it becomes much easier when and if you have a fender bender. The church's insurance brokers, via Best Seguros Limitada, provided us with useful information, although we pray it's never necessary. When an accident occurs, the first procedures to follow are 1. Keep calm. Avoid anger, fear or retaliation. Pray for wisdom. 2. Put on the yellow reflector waistcoat. Leave the vehicle when it is safe to do so. If it is safe, mount the red reflector triangle to indicate the immobilization of the vehicles. Ensure that it is visible and at least 100 meters away from the scene of the accident. 3. Ensure the protection of all drivers and passengers. Try to get everyone off the road to a safe and secure place on the pavement or behind some barrier. 4. Dial 112. Portugal's 911 immediately if there are people injured or in need of assistance or if there is a lot of damage. 5. Inform the other driver that all is well if there are no injuries and that you are willing to fill in the amicable statement or declaration. Declaração amigável, the DA we call it. It should be in each one of the cars. 6. If there are witnesses Ask them not to leave the scene of the accident so they can provide their identification and contact details to the police authorities. Witnesses are very important if unless one of the parties clearly assumes responsibility and willingly signs the DA admitting fault. Next, if the road conditions allow, without endangering your personal integrity or that of others, one, Mark on the road surface where the vehicles are stationary, the place where the vehicle wheels touch the ground on each of the vehicles. You can use chalk or a stone to do these markings. Two, take photographs with good angles of both vehicles, registration plates, tracks or skid marks, road signs, and all relevant information that will help analyze and apply responsibility for the accident. Three, Ask the other driver if he or she agrees to remove the vehicles, only if they are obstructing the normal flow of traffic. Plus, push the vehicles to the side of the road to a safe place only if there is an agreement to do so by signing the DA. Do not move the vehicles if there are injured people or if one of the drivers does not assume liability. Now, back to that safe place on the side of the road. 1. Fill out the DA as accurately as possible, including each driver's full details, such as name, contact details, details of the witnesses, vehicle model and registration, etc. It's all there on the DA. 2. Important. If you don't keep the original, take a couple of clear photographs of the whole document. The dupl duplicate is oftentimes very unclear. 3. If the other driver refuses to fill out the DA or does not sign it, take a good photo of the registration of the other vehicle, of the insurance policy and number that's normally also affixed to the windscreen of the car, the little vignette, and also insist on having the police present. 4. Wait in a safe place to avoid arguments. Simply inform the other driver that you are not to blame and that it is the insurance company's job to determine responsibility. 5. If your car is not roadworthy, call the insurance company's roadside assistance service. The contact details can be found in the green insurance paper and there is a small vignette also on the windscreen. 6. At this point, you should know the garage to which you send your car. It will be towed to the place, garage or house you stipulate. Also, ask for a taxi to take you to your final destination if you have no means of getting home. You cannot go with the tow truck. 
If you have a replacement vehicle benefit in your contract, ask the company for a replacement vehicle. They will require proof of damage and estimated repair time from the garage. Therefore, it will take about one or two days for you to get that car. 7. Bear in mind that you are only entitled to one tow per accident. So if you need to move your car again, the tow truck will be at your expense. Make sure it is sent to the garage to be repaired rather than your home. If it is a weekend, for example, supply the garage name and address. The car will then be towed to a pound and then driven to the garage on the Monday at the insurance company's expense and not your own. Once you're safely back home and grateful for having come away unscathed, if that is the case, prayerfully it is, one, if no DA was filled out at the scene of the accident, you must fill it out with all of your details and the data collected. Two, after gathering all the information, send it by email to your insurance agent. If you have no insurance agent, consider using the church's insurance agent via Best Insurance. The email is in the link be below. The agents will then report the accident to the insurance company and they will follow up on it. 3. If you only have third-party insurance, the company will cover the expenses of the victim and the victim's car. Your own damages are at your own expense. If you cause the accident, that is. If you are the victim, then all of your expenses will be covered by the other party. If you have full coverage insurance, don't worry, then both parties will be automatically covered. We hope that this description has helped. Remember, our church's agents are at your disposal for further clarifications. The agent's name is Mr. Canales Gago. God bless you and hope this has helped.